For the sign of Scorpio, hello and welcome to my channel. So Scorpio, in the recent past, we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles, it's a card that shows that you probably spent time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this would have been a good thing, provided that you didn't take on too much debt in the recent past. People could have been looking to you for insight or maybe some advice, and you would have been able to help them if you decided to do so. It was a time period for you when you probably got a whole lot accomplished. Now, Queen of Pentacles is with the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card about returns on investments. If you look at the picture of this card, Seven of Pentacles is the card that's below the word pass. Uh, the picture says it all. If you can see how this lady, she's watering a plant. It looks like she probably gets up every morning and then before she goes to bed. And she tends to the plant. She takes care of it. And it looks like it, she takes really good care of it because it's probably, it probably was a baby when she got it. Now it's about eight feet tall. The leaves are dark, dark green. And she's nurturing it. And she's she's getting rewards. She's being rewarded because it's growing. So this card is about returns on investments. It's about reaping what you have sown. So this could be about a bank account returning money to you or figuratively such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. Um, it's a very positive card in the tarot. It means that you probably were feeling more secure than you had been in a while. Now things would have been moving along pretty good and you were probably feeling really hopeful about the future with a good cause. You may have had to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So it was about choosing wisely at that time. So basically in the recent past, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, it looks like you probably just wanted com comfort with the Queen of Pentacles. And you probably, with the Seven of Pentacles here, you probably there was probably something that you really wanted to wanted something to work and you put time and energy into it it could have been a career it could have been a relationship it could have been a situation something that you really wanted to work at that time in the recent past and you gave it a lot of energy and time so, also, just a side note for this Queen of Pentacles, it also points to strategy when it comes to love and relationship, particularly, particularly for those who are not currently involved with anyone. Now, the strategy, the strategy for you at that time in the recent past, it would have been a stereotypical feminine one, meaning don't chase it make yourself available but also it would have been important for you not to be desperate to bring someone new into your life because when the time is right it would have been or it will be made abundantly clear to you and you will not or would not have had to do backflips to make something come about so at the queen of pentacles i just wanted to run that past any single people out there it's about strategy yeah, not chasing. So maybe that's what you realize and you just you just kind of chill. That's what she's doing. She's sitting in a chair. I hope you can see the card. She's sitting in a chair and she's her, her dog is at is sitting on her feet, keeping her toes warm. And the pets, I mean the squirrels and the birds, they all flock to her cuz they know she's she's no drama. She's not going to um scare them or anything like that it's all about peace and comfort and she's holding on to her her money 
So it's about being feeling secure. Um, yeah, and because it's with the seven of pentacles, you you invested in something, something you invested in, because you wanted to reap the rewards. Could have been a person, thing, or or a situation. So that's the recent past. Now why don't we move on over? And why don't we take a look and see what's going on for the present time coming up in... Wait a minute, did I say July? I think at the beginning of this introduction I said July. But this is an August reading. The months are going by so fast, so you have to forgive me. So this is an August reading. Okay, August love reading. So maybe I did say it, but I'm just clarifying. This is an August love reading. Alright, so just know that the time with these readings, they're fluid. So this could actually be July. It could be August. It's supposed to be August, but it could actually go into September. The energy is fluid. So just take it for whatever situation works for you. And just know that because these are general readings and not personal readings, you have to make it fit your, you have to see how it fits your situation. Like for, it, for instance, when I say he, it could be she. When I say your person, it could actually be you. Because these are not personal readings, so you have to take it for how it fits your situation. So for the present time, coming up in August, we got the Ten of Swords. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is the card above the word present. Two of Pentacles, two main issues are front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend. You may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two, two main priorities. Your financial situation. It may need to be more balanced. But be sure you're paying attention there also, if that's the case. Now, Two of Pentacles is with the Ten of Swords. It's a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. Because when the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you, or trust that the situation is stable, it's a pretty clear answer of no. Absolutely not. Do you see how he, this man has all these swords stabbed in his back? However, try to keep in mind that when one door closes, another door opens. You're more than likely being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. Now basically for the present time, coming up in August, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Now, Scorpio, it looks like you could be dealing with someone that makes you feel like they they're having trouble finding time and energy for this connection or for you. You could be dealing with someone that's kind of back and forth. Maybe they have several tasks. Maybe they've got more than one job. Um, maybe they multitask. They do a lot. They juggle. You see, that's what he's doing, juggling. Um, you might feel because this person has very little time and energy for you, you might feel like they're a two-timer. You could feel like they've got someone else. Or maybe you know this. And it's causing you to feel like the Ten of Swords. Not trusting this connection at all. Just, no, no, you're not trusting it. You feel like this connection is a failure or a flop, or it could be soon. And you kind of feel like de like you're defeated in the situation or the connection. Um, yeah. So, you're not trusting it. This person is too busy. So, let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now, we've got the Eight of Wands, and it's with the Judgment card. Now, the Eight of Wands... It's showing that a lot of things could be up in the air for you when you get this card. You could start to feel frustrated, just tired of waiting. 
but it's an indicator to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all that you can do. Now decisions, they must be made by other people. So when you get this card in the reading, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things because it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there now, you just have to wait. So that's the Eight of Wands, and it's with Judgment. Judgment card. Okay, this card is about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course judgments that are made too fast, too easy. And if you know you're prone to doing this, it can be a signal to slow down and give things more thought, give people more chances. Also, this can be a time of spiritual awakening. So, Scorpio, your challenge coming up in August, it looks like there could be some communication coming in. Someone wants to talk to you, or maybe you want to reach out and talk to someone. Something is trying to, you, you're trying to get something going, trying to get something to happen. Uh, if it's not communication, maybe you're feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be forthcoming. Uh, so it could be something like that. could be, uh, there's something going on. This card is usually about some type of communication, but... It could be just something else that you feel ready for. But things are just up in the air. And it seems like it's taking forever. So it's causing you to pass judgment in a, in a negative way. You, you probably jump into conclusions. Because things aren't happening fast enough. And you're probably um, making really hastily decisions because things are just up in the air could be about this person that you're dealing with that's got a lot going on so now you just you feel like throwing your hands up it's causing a make or break period in this connection or situation uh, yeah but when you get this eight of wands it's saying distract yourself because it's not a good idea to force anything because it could backfire on you. So, yeah, it's playing the waiting game. But it's not good because it, it looks like it's um, causing you to, like I said, jump to conclusions. And we all know what that can do. It can cause a make or break in anything. So that's your challenge, Scorpio. Now let's see what the outcome is going to be. We've got the Strength card and we got the Seven of Cups. Now the Strength card. With this card, it's important for you to meditate, to contemplate, maybe spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you got 19 kids. So you do not want to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Because the outward things are probably going all right, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer any fears. Then control your impulses and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. Strength is paired with the Seven of Cups, which is a card about choices. It indicates confusion. It can also point to being disorganized having too much going on so it's about ne needing to narrow your focus you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well so it's about trying to choose just a few of the my well choosing a few of the let's put it this way of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully you could start to feel overwhelmed just remember you can control in some areas how much you're trying to take on so your outcome Scorpio strength card and seven of cups so you're realizing that you kind of need to take to yourself and become strong and embracing yourself 
practice self-love, unconditional love, practice some self-respect. Um, because that's what the strength card is about. It's about acceptance. You're accepting whatever this connection is and you're becoming stronger because you're not um, trying to force things or you're not being like you were for the challenge, just wanting something to happen real fast. You're drawing on your inner strength. So you're becoming stronger. And because it's with the Seven of Cups, you realize that you need to keep your options open. If you're going to stay in this connection, or if you're going to deal with this type of person that has a hard time making time for, for you in this connection, you realize you need to keep your doors open also. Because this person is busy. And it, it makes you feel defeated in this connection. And you, you're not trusting it. And then some things that you want to happen, they don't happen fast enough in this connection. So you, you jump to a lot of conclusions and it just causes a make or break. So you realize that you need to pull, pull out your strength and practice self-love and self-respect. So the outcome is that you become stronger. You love yourself even more. You're standing in your power. And you, you're keeping your, your options open. You're no longer focused on any one person. So you've got choices and you've got options. So this is a good thing. So now you're stronger. You're, you're embracing you. So Scorpio, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope this resonates. I hope you enjoyed the reading. As you know, readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Scorpio, thank you so very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for all my subscribers, my new ones and my old ones. And I thank you for the ones that, the people that just like to watch and they don't care to subscribe. Um, yeah, it's all very helpful to my, my channel. So I appreciate all of you. I hope that 2020 is going well for, for all of you and you're taking good care of yourself. Stay strong. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but wear those masks, please. If it's not for you, wear it for somewhere, wear it for uh, other people. If you can do that. So I can never say it enough, Scorpio. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great day.